Basement waterproofing specialist was called out to this property after the homeowner had started a renovation, discovered the extent of the water damage usually cannot be repaired. In the following videos, you'll see the steps we took to rectify these issues. Wall rebuilds and replacements require extensive excavation to relieve the lateral load from the wall. This process is all part of the wall replacement and wall straightening. After the completing the excavation, we can safely shore up the home, lifting it off of the foundation, and begin removing this wall. After inspection of the footer is complete to ensure that it is the correct size and stable enough to hold up the new wall. In this wall, we are overbuilding these walls given the previous wall failure. You can see the number six rebar being inserted here. It is being retrofitted into the footer as the footer did not have any kind of vertical rebar reinforcement for the previous wall and that is definitely a contributing factor to its failure. This is the first process in installing our French drain systems, the hydrostatic pressure relief systems. We are removing the top rock, exposing the footer and the pre-existing system. During this time we check the footer for cracks, undermining or any other faulty conditions. Here we are dry fitting our hydrostatic pressure relief system. When the system is done this pipe will have a nylon mud sock or a filter, a lay flat hydroway drain as you can see here and all of the elbows and fittings required to plumb this pitch it to our sump pump. Our sump pumps and pit use a sealed lid to prevent any kind of moisture escape or radon escape and here's how they enter the pit. Here at BWS we don't take any shortcuts. When building these CMU walls we reinforce just about every other core with rebar and grout. This is now building code and standard practice, but houses built prior to the 90s did not have this and hence exhibit these frost line cracks and wall failures that we run into today. This process here makes sure that this doesn't happen to these walls that we give a lifetime warranty for. This is the finishing touches prior to concreting over top of our hydrostatic pressure relief system. A three quarter inch clean crushed stone is placed over top of the pipe wrapped in a mud sock laid on top of the hydroway drain mirror drain panels are bent over the trench and tucked up against the wall this catches any water coming through from our weep holes and enables any moisture coming through the wall to be dripped down into the system on the rear wall of this home replacement was not necessary instead we were able to fix four by six steel bars to the wall, bolt through with all threads and pull the wall as straight as possible. This repair process is not typical. Removing the grout between the damaged courses of block, drilling through the wall to effectively sandwich this wall between two pieces of steel and pull it straight prior to reinforcing it is not a typical repair. However, in this case, Seeing as how the homeowner had a pool in the backyard and a staircase abutting this wall, a sister wall was not an option and neither was a full wall replaced. Working together with our engineers, we were able to design a process where we are able to pull this wall straight. Seeing as how the wall is filled solid with concrete, the reinforcement cannot be done within the wall. We are unable to install rebar reinforcement, so in this case, we are taking C channels, which will be dowled into the floor encased in concrete. Once the reinforcement and straightening bars are removed, we plug the hole solid with hydraulic cement to prevent any water permeating its way in. Additionally, we'll coat this area with an asphalt adhesive and a rubber membrane, similar to an EPDM product. Once that's complete, we'll be backfilling with three quarter inch clean stone. The backfill process is a lengthy one, much like the excavation process. You can see here that we've created a form. This form allows us to backfill from the footer up to grade with a three quarter inch crushed gray stone. This gray stone alleviates lateral pressure on the wall caused by water, the frost thaw cycles, and the expansion and contraction of the clay soil. Here you can see the guys putting the finishing touches on the stone backfill and dirt backfill. 